Hello everyone and you're welcome to GBFM48 tutorial. I'm Oduro Lemojibola. Today we are going to be making a knot slide sander. As you can see what we have, this upper is knotted. I'm going to be explaining to us how can how we can get this simple creative knot slide sander. Sit back and I will be right back. The first thing we are going to do is to take our measurement for our knot sander slide. Since it looks more like a cross, we are going to measure our last. I'm using size 39 last. And this is 9 and a half plus the extra that is going under 9 and a half inch. And this is about 8 and a half inch. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to add three inches to each of them because we are knotting it as we know is a knot slide sander now we are just going to cut out our leather and line them now i've cut the strap out i cut one inch by 12 inch strap the width is one inch now i've applied gum on the strap i've applied gum on the leather lining as well I'm just going to place it on it. As I told us, it's not going to have any kind of stitch. So I'm not stitching it. I'm just going to gum it, go it to the lining like that and cut it out. I'm not going to stitch at all. As, as long as you ensure that you glue it properly and armor it just to hold it effectively it will not remove or open easily so you will enjoy your knot slide sander so what we're going to do now is we are going to cut it out and knot our slide sander if you like to stitch yours you can decide to stitch it before you cut but for mine i'm not going to stitch it at all i'm going to use it like this and trust me you are going to also have a good result whether it is stitched or not now let's go to knotting our slide sander as you can see we have two straps all we need is just two strap i cut two strap which is for the two legs now what you do first is as you can see This is how we start with our knotting. We cross it over this way. Ensure that this side is longer because you know that this side is longer than from here to here. This side to this side is longer. So it's important for us to ensure that we have enough to go under our foot. That is why this is going to be crossed over like this. You can see the way I crossed it over. I, let me hold it down with this. Now we are coming to this side and we are also going to do we are going to do the same thing. Crossing it over this way. Now we are going to knot it. You see this? This particular one goes in here. Why this enters from under into this particular side if you look at it this way you'll find out that it has already formed a knot all we need to do is to now tighten it you remove it then tighten it i told us that this size should be longer we can adjust it if you find out that the upper part is a little bit long you can adjust as you can see this i'm trying to adjust it then i'll pull as i adjust same thing with this all we need to do is to just adjust and our knot slide is ready as you can see our knot slide sander is ready as you can see it's looking so beautiful and lovely you can see what we have now let's go quickly to lasting it I've taught us in one of my tutorials, you can check the description under on how to wrap our insole 
like this. I've taught us how to unstitch. If you would love to unstitch it as well, you can do that. What we'll just do is, as usual, we place our hand. Our hand will be on it. I always I will be using this side. Yes, make sure that your longest finger is almost at the edge. The reason why I use my hand basically is because if you try to place your fingers on your foot, you find out that at this your big toe here, where we are supposed to start our lesson, that is where this side will fall on. And for the smallest toe, you will find out that the smallest toe will be up, and it is at this type, at this part, that covering the smallest toe will fall out, which is the reason I'm using this side and this side for this particular knot sander slide. So what we're going to do now is place it, place it on it. We're going to apply our gum on this side, apply our gum on this, and we can use our last to check where we want it to stop or we decide where it should stop. So, so you can see what we are having here. It's a lovely one at that. This is so beautiful. So let's quickly last this. I will apply the gum and we last. Now I've applied the gum and they are dry. I'm just going to place it on those mark places. Now let's last it. Make sure that you centralize our knot. Let's go to where our first mark is. You push like this and you bring it in so that it can stay properly. And you come back to this front, place your last properly, come to this other side, and then do the same thing. So you can see what we have. And this will definitely come down this way. It's a slide, so you don't have anything to worry about. You can see what I have here. You can see how beautiful it looks. Now, when you want to make the second leg, all you need to do is place it on it and mark it out. You place it on it this way just to mark those places. Yes, as you can see, put it on it. And mark the same places. You do that for the two, the other side as well. Just ensure that you place it well. Check and be sure it is well placed so that when you are true, both of the leg will be, the upper will be at the same spot. Careful with your pen. If you are using a pen that is not erasable, be careful with it. So I'm just going to follow that pattern and last the second leg. Now you can see what I have after lasting the two knot slide sander. If you're new in my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share and like this video as well. I would like you to press the notification bell so that you can be notified each time I upload a video. Thank you so much for watching today's tutorial. See you next time. Bye.